the eastern garter snake. Um, its name is Themenophilus sertalis sertalis. Um, stripe on rows two and three, stripe spots. Um, some specimens are stripeless. And uh, what you saw was uh, the snake eating an American toad, Bufo americanus. Um, they normally defend themselves. Actually, they've got one right here. They defend themselves by releasing a poison through the, the warts um, with a bump all over their bodies. The garter snake is immune to the poison, so it's able to eat the toads. It even has a special structure um, on one of its vertebrae to help pop the toad like a balloon. Because when being eaten, frogs and toads will puff up to make themselves harder to swallow. Oh, man, look at them go. <laughs> Other predators and toads include skunks, uh, possums, and various other types of snakes. So in this case, the snake was not poisonous, it's the toad that was poisonous. Yes, sir, the toad was uh, the poisonous animal. Um, and it's, it's only a matter of technicalities, uh, but there's no such thing as a poisonous snake. There's only venomous ones. You can eat every snake on this planet. Um, venom is something that's delivered into the bloodstream by a bite, or a sting, or a spine. Um, so you can eat rattlesnake, you can eat uh, cobra if you wanted to, but you couldn't eat a toad. Um, a good way to remember the difference is uh, my use of the cookie method. Um, you can have a poisonous cookie, but you'll never get a venomous one because cookies don't bite or sting. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for the information. You're welcome.